Hey there everyone, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a bit of a bug with HitFilm 2018 Express and text editing and composite shots. That's not really a bug, but mostly something that's kind of really irritating, because I've noticed that... Well, I've been using HitFilm since HitFilm 4, and I've noticed that every new release they put out, text editing is the one thing they always seem to mess up more and more as they release new builds. And in this video, I'm kind of really had enough of it, so I'm kind of making this video to actually show their technical support team the problem that, I'm, that I and probably a few other people who use it are having in this build, and how to reproduce it, and how to get it in a brand new project. So, um, simple enough, I'm gonna open it up here, hit Film Express 2018, neat. Pretty usual environment here, it is looking pretty normal. Now let's create a new project, and 1080p at 60fps will be good, though it probably wouldn't matter what editing preset you use. Now, a lot of my videos tend to contain text whenever they're highly edited, whether it be a title, an outro, or a caption, there's going to be text. So in HitFilm, to write text on the screen, you use a composite shot. So I'm going to create a composite shot. And then, when you're in a composite shot, you can create a text layer, and this allows you to type text. Simple enough, everything's working so far. Now, I've created a simple text box that I can type in, and if I double click it, like I usually would in HitFilm, uh, you'll see that my cursor, well, first of all, the little gizmo there that allows you to move and resize and stuff like that has disappeared, which is cool, indicating that I'm editing the actual contents of this layer and not where it is on screen. That's cool, and you'll notice that my cursor has turned into an I-beam, indicating that to Windows, as far as it's concerned, this is a text box, and I can type in it. And I can type whatever I want in it, except I can't type whatever I want. In fact, let's go back to the selection tool, and we'll go double-click it again. In order for me to be able to type in it, I need to press the E key, which selects the Move tool, or no, that's not the Move tool, I don't know what that is, I think that might be, uh, Ellipsis Mask tool, alright, that makes sense, E for Ellipsis, <laughs> um, and then I need to press the E, or the T key to select the text, and only now can I start typing. And it works perfectly, no matter what key I press, it's cool. Now, I can't deselect, which is okay, fine. But I can go back to the selection tool, select, double click. Now I, I can't type until I somehow accidentally change to another tool, press the T key, and now I can type, which is kind of annoying because in previous versions, all you would need to do is double click the text box, you would get the little I-beam, the gizmo would disappear, that allows you to move it, and you can type, and you would even see this little white, um, the white cursor there that shows you where you're typing, but when I simply double click, that doesn't happen which is kind of an annoying bug, and it's kind of misleading from a user experience perspective, because think of it this way. Imagine you are going into your Windows Start menu, like this. And imagine you're going to go search. Well, of course, I would go to my arms bar, and I would search. Now, the bug I'm experiencing is equivalent to going into the search menu here, 
hovering over the text box that allows me to input my search query, clicking it so that Windows knows I'm trying to type in it, seeing the little eye beam and the flashing cursor, but whenever I type, nothing happens. Of course, since this bug isn't present in this area of Windows, something happened. The words, nothing happens, appeared in the text box, and Windows is searching frantically to find something that matches that keyword, or that key phrase. And the bug would actually prevent that text from appearing until I go back, select a different tool, double click, select a tool with the keyboard, select the text tool with the keyboard, and start typing. If there's anyone else with HitFilm Express 2018 who is having this bug, please let me know. And if not, um, well, HitFilm Technical Support, you're watching this video as well, hopefully, and maybe you guys will be able to help me because I don't think there's any other editor out there that I would rather use than HitFilm because it is free and it is and it basically smacks Premiere or smacks Adobe Premiere in every single way possible. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.